あリアムスターポップアップあたりからキャスト見ましたっけ何がだあ、でもあ、ちょっとサイズこれからブルーパー・トレイラーですもんねはい。で、消しそうって言うの ?We would never read that on TV. <laughs> 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 I don't know how John is still. <laughs> I don't know how he's so calm during doing this. It's kind of funny, man. It's kind of gives me a bad posture. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Taping it over here. That's why we'll just cut this out, man. <laughs> They'll never see this. This is ridiculous. It's a great start. We got an hour to get this down. Like 40 minutes. <laughs> Semi-relevant information in the state of West Virginia on running. Whoa! Whoa! All right, now what? Pause. Yeah, we get a little. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter how much time. And then I start with him. Yes, let's talk about Birch Miller. Like, all right, come in with uh, after the uh, Birch Miller. Be like, and news on everybody's favorite. You know, everybody's yeah. favorite runner. God himself. <laughs> The news on West Virginia's favorite runner, Jacob Bertram, last week at the MSAC Conference Meet doubled in the 400 and 800, running a 53, or 153, 800, and a 50 flat 400. That's a fast 1200, right, Dick? Real fast. The kid's good. <laughs> yeah. In other conference news, in the Big Ten, the big meet is in the 400 with Cam Venny and Barry Franklin. It's not Barry Franklin. Yeah, it is. It is? No, Barry Franklin was for Wesley. Yeah, he went to Wesley. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! Let's put Franklin down. What's his first name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Frank? Did you say Vinny and Franklin? Hey, Casey, what's Franklin's first name? I don't remember what to say the last name. Right here. What? What's Franklin's, what's Franklin's first name? Barry Franklin. Not, Wait, not, not from, from Wesleyan, Wesleyan, though. One from Liberty. The one that's faster than Cam Vinny. Well, I don't know. All right, don't never know. mind. We'll just say his last yeah, name. Yeah, we'll just say the last name. No, we just got the last names. So don't worry about it. Shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in our bloopers. All right, all right, go shut the door. <laughs> so we're gonna start after Bertram, right? Yeah, you just start with the big thing again. Yeah, yeah. Brandon 
Brandon. So close. What? All right, Brandon. 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 I think I could remember that. Such a hard name to say. I wonder where he's from. Brandon Franklin. Yeah, Cameron Vinny. Viney. Dude, I'm just saying Vinny and Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. In other conference news, uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I love the show already. <laughs> did you say MSAC? Yeah, I already said MSAC. Oh, you did. That was Bertram. He's the only one who did anything, I think. All right. In other conference news, the big race was between Cam Vinny and Brandon Franklin in the 400, where Franklin came out with a win in 48. Hell if I know. 42 <laughs> and 49 9. Both of those are real fast. <laughs> And then the OVAC, Millie, University's Millie Palladino, won the 800 and mile, running a 220, <laughs> 223, and 505. And then in the LKCs, uh, we had Maggie Drasba pull off another all-time best uh, in the two-mile with 1027 solo. And her brother, Charlie, won the two-mile in an incredible 953. Incredible. Speechless. Out of the high school news, we had some college results. Well, there were some other conferences in high school. They, they did good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I you forgot about that part? Yeah. There's an Eastern Panhandle that... I like the rest of the state. We're just going to forget about the Eastern Panhandle. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we don't even know. <laughs> in college, though, the Big East, the women were down in Florida. Uh, we had a very good performance by Jess O'Connell, running 16.33 in the 5K to place fourth, and the team overall got fifth, so... WVU. Oh, you want me to do anything? Yeah, I did in middle school. This past week, somebody that was kind of forgotten, who technically isn't from West Virginia, but she's lived here a lot of her life, trains here in Morgantown, is Olympian Megan Metcalf. She was at the Peyton Jordan Invitational um, out in Palo Alto, California, and she ran the 5K in 1521, only a couple so seconds off the Canadian... Yeah, I messed up seconds. <laughs> I'll do that Please again. do that again? I'll do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who was uh, slightly forgotten last week at the Peyton Jordan Invitational was local runner Megan Metcalf, who was a 5K Olympian in Beijing. She ran 15:21 to come with, within a couple seconds of Canadian the can. God damn it! It's hard to say because her heads are cut off. <laughs> God damn it! All right, take three. <laughs> Somebody who was slightly forgotten last week at the Peyton Jordan Invitational was local Olympian Megan Metcalf, who ran a 5K in 1521, which is only a couple seconds off of the Canadian A standard for London. She will be looking to improve on that here in a couple weeks, and hopefully we will see her again in her second Olympics. Now for the most important segment of running, Junior High. Junior High. <laughs> we actually were going to, you know... Make fun of junior high because, no, they suck, but we still pay a lot of attention to them for some reason. Yeah, we're not God sure knows why, why, but we kind of stumbled across Cowell County's championships. We do not know what they're feeding them. They must be... Bertram Juice. Yeah, Bertram Juice. They had six kids run 60 flat or faster. And anybody that can run a 400 faster than us, that's in 7th or 8th grade, <laughs> should could, be noted. I could beat that kid. <laughs> I could not. <laughs> Daniel Jarrell, 53... Then a whole bunch of other kids, 54, 56, 57, 58, 60. If you want to know their names, go to Run WV. Josh Weekly does a great job with that. We do not. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids also broke the five-minute uh, mile, and Andrew Short and Jeremiah Parlock. So the real question is, who's breaking four first? Jake Bertram or Andrew Short or Jeremiah Parlock? I, I guess we'll Andrew find Short. out. <laughs> Two years. Yeah. 356. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to knock at least 25 seconds off a year because it's rational. Just like he's also ran 10.47, came back after a 4.53, ran 10.47 in the two mile. So the other next question is, who's breaking 8.50 first? Jake Bertram, Andrew Short. Or Matt Schiffbauer. Or Matt Schiffbauer. Again. Who's Matt Schiffbauer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just see his name on Run the Arb all the time. <laughs> is that that dense? Dense? DNS? Yeah, I don't know what that means either. <laughs> I 
No, we don't have a lot of information. No, we really don't. It's like a 30 second clip. <laughs> um, we could talk about these. No, let's not talk about these. Okay. It's <laughs> Graph Rain 419. Oh, that's right. About next week's regionals. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So next week, we're looking forward to uh, the regional meets, and we're going to be. Uh, you know, start that over. Yeah, definitely. Two. Yeah, go ahead and start that. You can go with it. All right. Uh, well, I want to be the. All right, I'll just. Oh, that's right. What am I saying? I'd just be like. Oh, that's at the bottom of that end. Yeah, just be like. Next. Okay. All right, I got it. Next week, we're going to be. Co- God damn it. All right. Stay for it. <laughs> Next week, we're going to be covering the regional meets where we will find out who's in and who's not. And again, we'll be looking at some of the regions who have 430 guys who will not be making it to the meet, and we'll have regions that have 50 guys that will make the state meet. Let the controversy begin. Again. Now are we just going to finish with a picture of the hurdle fall? Oh, wait, we have to say, well, we just gave our next week. We should keep talking because this match is really close to fall. <laughs> 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 Okay, let it fall out at the end. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for tuning in to the Hilly State Walkdown. We will be bringing you videos every week, maybe. Um, most likely. Mo- mo- most likely. And uh, if you're coming here to look for great information... Fun fact of the week. <laughs> West Virginia technically has no mountains, which raises the question why we are the Mountaineers, why we have Mountain State in names of shows, and... And what's a Chuck Meadow? (laughs) (laughs) You said we wouldn't get like this? You said we wouldn't get personal? Oh, that's true. We'll cut that up. Yeah, we'll cut that up. I like the fun fact, though. Yeah, go ahead and do do the fun fact again. Fun fact of the week. West Virginia has zero mountains. When you can count the number of mountains you have on one hand, or no hands... (laughs) What does he say? (laughs) With Maggie's thing, when he said you can count. Um, you know that it's good. Those pieces about her, right? Oh, yeah, but that's not good. All right, I'll just take three. Fun fact of the week. West Virginia has zero, count them, zero mountains. So that raises the question why people <laughs> would name us the Mountain State or why we are the Mountaineers in Morgantown. So technically we should be Hilly State and we should be the... Hilly we should be happy. We're very hilly state. Yeah, very, very hilly state. We can be happy with that. We have beautiful hills. Beautiful hills. Zero mountains. Not one. Beautiful hills. Beautiful. Go Jake Birch. <laughs> did enough of that. <laughs> Actually, we might have ended with that. Go Jake Birch. Yeah. Go Jake Birch. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Stop on that. All right, I want to... It's probably like 40 minutes of <laughs> us laughing. <laughs> Three minutes of actual talking. I don't know. Sir. Can, you stop, can you stop this? <laughs>